Hey everyone, Ripley with Bob's Watches. In this video, we're talking all about how to wind your watch. So let's get started. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. Between quartz movements, smart watches, and cell phones in our pockets every day, the art of manually winding your watch has largely been lost. Although traditional mechanical watches are experiencing a serious resurgence at the moment, the vast majority of the models currently available are of the self-winding variety. However, just because a watch has an automatic winding movement, that does not mean that it cannot also be manually wound, so today we're going to take a look at exactly how to wind your watch. On watches with screw down crowns, and this includes the vast majority of Rolex models, the process of winding them is very similar to a classic manually wound watch, however there is an extra step due to the fact that the crown screws down to the case. Before you can do anything with a watch with a screw down crown, and this includes either setting the time, date, or rewinding them, you first need to unscrew it from the side of the case. Once it's free from the threads, this is the position that you're going to wind it in. Just like on a watch without a screw down crown, you're going to want to rotate it clockwise or towards the 12 o'clock location. Again, on an automatic winding watch, and this includes all Rolex Oyster Perpetual models, you're not going to ever reach a natural stopping point. There's more or less a slip gear inside the movement that once it's fully wound, you're not going to continue to supply tension to the mainspring. So you can do this all day and the crown's never going to feel that mechanical resistance like you would on a traditionally hand wound watch. Once the mainspring's fully wound, around 40 turns or so, go ahead and set the time to whatever your local time zone is and push it back in. Last thing that's important to note on screw down crowns, you need to re-screw them back down to the case for the watch to be water resistant. So once you're done winding the watch, setting the timer date, go ahead and screw it back down to the case and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching our video on how to wind a watch. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content.